They look a little better organised at the back four than possibly West Brom. Muscle White really is in trouble here as Hunt plays it forward again. There's a chance now, and it's all down to the goalkeeper, but it's missed in the end by Donovan. Now, that was all down to poor Muscle White. He came a long way out of his goal, took a risk, and really sliced the ball straight back to West Bromwich Albion. I'd like to thank him very much, because I was just saying how well they look at the back, they look organised, the back four, and there he is, he comes out here, and it's a chance that goes back in wide, really. You've got to hit the target in those positions. Here it is again, it's a little slip through. He's looked up, and there's the touch. He's just, the first touch isn't bad. Just secondly, he tried to lift it over him, over the, over the bar, and missing the target. Albion's massive support. Wait and wonder if this is to be the day when they win promotion. The last time they did that was 17 years ago when they went up to the old first division where they stayed for 10 years. And then, of course, they dropped down to the old third division a couple of years ago. Finished seventh there last season, the worst season in the club's history in terms of league position. Reed's clearance, an excellent ball. Hunt with a lovely flick on, too, to Donovan. Who's crashed down from behind, but again... Mr. Milford says play on, and once again, ironically, there was no advantage, but there might well have been in the most bizarre fashion. Yes, you better have a look at your studs. <laughs> Poor Musselwhite could have produced there the freakest goal ever at Wembley. Yes, the ball played here, and he comes out, and then he gets on his heels. He seems to stop on his heels, there he goes, and slips up, whoops. Reminds me of Steve Grizovic and Trevor Peak. Slaven, that's a glorious layoff. Lovely ball. A long ball back towards Slaven, and it breaks here to Porter, and he almost had too much time. And Slaven and Foyle couldn't reach the loose ball, and West Brom break clear. Strange moment that was. Reed again powering forward on the right, and gets it. And then he goes towards Donovan. Well, it was a very spectacular effort by Kevin Donovan, but wide. Well, at one end, it looked as though. Uh, the, the world stood still. I couldn't believe Porter. It looked as though he'd just grown roots at one end, and then you get to the other end where you get a great cross in, and it's a very good effort by Donovan. It's good cross there, and it comes, and he gets it on the volley. Very spectacular effort. Taylor. And he did well to win it there off Porter, and slides it through to Donovan, who's onside. He holds his head in anguish, knowing that for the second time in this game, he has missed a golden opportunity. Although, let's give credit to Paul Musselwhite for closing the space down quickly. But really, Donovan knows better than anyone in this ground. That should have been the first goal. Here's Bernie Slaven. The game's really opened up at the start of the second half here. Bandalan now. It's always a good football match. Now we've got a bit of excitement and goal mouth action as well. Kent for Port Vale. Taylor out on the right and it goes first time but too deep was it well it gave a problem anyway to Tony Lang who decided that discretion was a lot better than Valor corner now Ian Taylor should have done better here he should bend a little ball just dink it in behind the defence he's gone for the long back post ball now Bradley Lilwall has got forward left edge of the area and he's the target here it's a good run because it's produced a corner Kevin Kent had to head it behind He's got to go and intervene here because neither of the Port Vale players have retreated 10 yards. There's a little mark on the pitch now to indicate where 10 yards is from the corner flag. You see the little white mark where Mr. Milford is. They still went 10 yards away when it came in. And it's a tremendous header by Raven. And Muscle White was in the right place at the right time then. Raven really powers in on this. If you watch his run, he's a determined run from the edge of the box. And there it is. But Muscle White in the position to just take it cleanly and coolly. Slaver, Porter, loses out. Hamilton knocks it forward. That's a great first time ball for Taylor. Bob Taylor. The free kick has been given for sure. And it'll be interesting to see what further action the referee takes against Peter Swan here. If he decides that Taylor was in a position where he could have gone on and scored a goal, then Peter Swan could be in big trouble with the referee here. 
no one wants to see a dismissal, least of all at Wembley, but his heart will be in his mouth now. Oh, you've got your doubts, haven't you, there? Big Swanee, he's just been caught. Taylor's peeled away from him, and he's lost Taylor. He's got behind him. It's a quality ball in, and it's a desperate lunge at the end. I would go, stay on the pitch. No. He's off. He's off. And Peter Swan, sadly, has the long walk back down the Wembley Tunnel. One of very few players in the history of the game to be dismissed at the world's most famous stadium. And I think the moment he brought down Taylor, he must have almost realised what his fate was to be. And here it goes in. It's a desperate lunge. Did he try and play the ball? Is it that bad? The referee's in a better position than I. But I would have said... I would have said Swanee's tried... No, no, it's fair enough. Good decision. Here's Bob Taylor, the man who was fouled. Now Hunt. Driven in dangerously again. Billing hooked it away for a corner. Very difficult ball to deal with that for Peter Billing. He's just come on the park and there's a ball slung in right at the near post. And he's got to watch it onto his foot. And he played the safety game. Get away behind for a corner. Taken quickly by Albion. And it's off the post and off the line from Strotter's header. Taylor. Chipped in again by Reed. And it's in this time, yes. It's Andy Hunt. second half Albion in front you cannot believe that header's not got in the first header from Strodder here's a good touch here just moves it to the side clips it in and there's the header directed into the only place the four people got no chance of getting that but it's a great header two great headers really Strodder was so unlucky that the ball at the post Oh, it's a terrible mistake, and Taylor could really punish them here, and still could. Well, they got themselves in an almighty spot of confusion there. They really did. You can't believe that. There was no need for this at all. Peter Billing plays a sloppy ball there, and I thought Bob Taylor should have really just said, get in there, you beauty. But the goalkeeper again spread himself. Good sight. Hunt. And it breaks suddenly. Donovan. Reed has got forward from the back and he scored Nicky Reed has surely now clinched a place in the first division for West Bromwich Albion no, it's, it's great running from Nicky Reed the, the ball has been played forward Bell were on the attack suddenly it breaks Donovan goes down he looks up he plays a little ball with the outside of the right foot Reed gets a good first touch Keeper dives out at him, and he just keeps his call and plays it in the corner of the net. I think he's had a superb game, Reed, and that justifies him for me, hopefully being the man of the match. But Vale still going forward in typical fashion. They really have contributed so much to this game today. Can they get a goal back now with Cross? It's a good tackle. It really was a good tackle. And Raven certainly came to Albion's rescue then. It looked as though Nicky Cross had his finger on the trigger. Bob Taylor with a good header. What a good, sensible thing that was to do to the brilliant Nicky Reed. It's a decent cross too, and Taylor turns it straight against uh, Aspin and still comes out with the ball. And in the end, the man who has missed the chances earlier on has converted the one that comes in injury time, Kevin Donovan has given Albion a certain place in the first division, 3-0. Here's our man in the match, Reedy. He knocks a great ball in, just gets a touch. Bob Taylor on the deck there with Aspin, and the ball just breaks. If you watch it, it comes very kindly, and in you go. I won't miss that one. And that will make his day, because he's missed a couple of chances, Donovan, but his, his work and his running off the ball, being very unselfish, and he deserves that finish. Darren Bradley, seven years at the Hawthorne since joining them from Aston Villa, is the man who will receive the special trophy that goes to the winners of this playoff final.
40,000 Baggies fans celebrate. The trophy is important. The place in the first division, far more so.